it's time for another unboxing. All right, guys, so uh, another unboxing for you today. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the EPMP 3000. Just came out. We got a shipment of a do our first dozen in. Um, so I've got a few things to open up and show you. So it kind of comes in three different components here. We're going to dive right into it uh, one thing at a time. So the first we're going to open up is the sector. This is a cambium built sector. It's very specific to the uh, EPMP 3000. <clears throat> so we're going to get a handful of things out of here first. And then we'll get rid of some of this trash. Alright, so what's in the box? We got little drain plug there or screws and all the brackets. Cambium has been doing a really good job lately of sending the uh, quick start guides, very nice visual guide on uh, how to put this all together. And then of course we've got the sector. So let's go ahead and set that to the side. <clears throat> I'm going to open up Smart Antenna. So Smart Antenna, you'll notice it says EPMP 2000, same thing as the EPMP 2000, uses the same exact one. So if you've used those, great. If not, kind of breeze through it for you real quick. You got your uh, cables there. This is different mounting options. So if you want to mount to the sector you can, if not, you can mount to an individual pipe if you want to, if that's not an option for you. So if you have to separate the two uh, antennas, you can. Um, but what's in the box on that guy, I'll go ahead and open this guy up for you. So you'll see what I'm talking about. So this is the bracket that you would use if you're mounting it to the bottom of the existing sector. And then they, they give you like a pipe mount bracket so that if you were going to separate uh, separate this from the actual access point you could. Um, a lot of that ends up not getting used for us because we usually mount it to the sector there. So we'll set this guy over here. Again, quick start guide. The last but certainly not least is the brand new EPMP 3000. 5 gigahertz connectorized. This is Moo Mimo 4x4. Um, so you're talking uh, greatly improving your performance when it comes to uh, EPMP deployments. So in the box you get a power supply, that's good because that doesn't always necessarily happen. A little sink puck. And then this is going to look a little different to anybody that's familiar with EPMP 1000 and 2000 series because um, this is obviously its own, its own, its own unit. So there she is. So that's the EPMP 3000. Um, let's take this off. You'll notice right away you got your smart antenna hookups, your GPS hookup, um, as well as an SFP. So the top down view, I don't know if you can see it in that um, there, but you do have an SFP already, uh, a port ready to go. There, you know, you're going to feed your um, fiber up into this cap, um, so you don't really have to worry about any of that. Um, the one thing that I will point out that uh, Cambium, I don't know if this was an oversight or what, but I believe this is the ground location here, but there's no screw. Um, and looking at it, that's all, that's the only spot we could find. And it's obviously, you know, it looks like that's probably what it's for. Um, to ground this, but there's no screw in it. So I don't know if that might be something Cammy wants to follow up on is the fact that it's missing its screw there. Um, but we are going to get um, everything we need to put these together, and then uh, I'll do a quick build of it for you, and we'll do a final uh, overview of how it all went together. Okay, so I've got a few things pre-assembled um, here, but there's some stuff I want to go over. So Cambium, 
we've been together long enough, I can speak from the heart. You're killing me, Smalls, on some of these tools. Um, so the smart antenna requires 13 millimeter, 10 millimeter, 8 millimeter. The new 4x4 MUMIMO antenna says that it needs 13 millimeter T10 Torx driver, Phillips screwdriver, and an adjustable spanner, um, AKA a crescent wrench. So I've got my 8, 10, 13, uh, my Torx driver, and then my Phillips and my adjustable spanner. What they don't tell you is you actually need about a seven millimeter. I'll show you that. Um, and you also need a 25, T25 uh, Torx. So those are not in here, but you do actually need those for assembly. And I'll show you where. So, let's get all that out of the way. All right, let's start with the sector. So, as I stated before, I've already kind of pre-assembled these. Everybody knows how to put a bracket together. If you don't, um, I guess I can do a separate video, but you ought to be able to know how to do that. Um, so, we'll take the little cap off there so you can see this. Um, so I'm sure they're probably talking about what the eight millimeter or maybe the adjustable spanner, these here to get this mounting plate off, but it's actually seven millimeter. It's actually probably a little smaller than that. And that's probably why they're, cause even the seven's a little loose on there, but it gets the job done. So seven millimeter, if you have one, great. That gets this little bracket off to mount your radio to goes on the back plate. Like I stated before, cambium, if this is a ground, I'd like to see that confirmed and a screw included with that because um, we ground everything. And I know that there's a ground, um, I think this is stated as a ground spot on the antenna, but this probably should be grounded as well. So the radio to mount it, your little bag of screws that come with it. This is where that um, 25, T25, so that's, there's no hex head or anything like that on it. So I don't know if that's probably supposed to be stated in, if there's a quick start guide maybe for the radio, but there wasn't one. So there is a quick start guide for the smart antenna and for the sector, there's not one that I found in the radio box. So another talking point for Cambium there. All right, so go ahead and attach doo, 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 doo. gonna try to go quick on this so we keep the video to a minimum but some of this stuff just takes time you get this many tools and this many pieces involved it's gonna take time all right so another point I also pre-assembled it as well as the smart antenna um, so I've just got it already on there um, just kind of snugged right now that's 13 or you can use a uh, a hex head um, you know t-driver hex head if you want allen wrench if you will so it goes on just like that with the um, nuts and bolts that came with that kit with the smart antenna kit again i'm doing this how we normally do it which is right on the uh, antenna it does come with brackets if you wanted to do it on you know another pole or something else don't even give me grief about not using a socket or a ratcheting wrench i just grabbed what i saw all right so snug these guys up all right so this guy now that we've got it on there Again, I would normally have put the ground on before I put this into position, but I don't have that option right now. And we'll probably add that later. Um, snug your little seven mil slash whatever the heck it is up. And there you go. Comes with the four cables. So the cables you're just gonna go right off of Chain three, chain two, chain one, chain zero. They're all right in a row here. They're all um, ready to go. And then slide that cap down. The smart antenna, it is actually gonna go, it comes with its own cables as well. Uh, so there's a 90 degree side and a straight. 
Um, the, it's pretty self-explanatory. The 90s are going to go uh, here underneath this little cap. And then the uh, straights are going to come right up into here. So um, and that cap just goes on right like that. Locks down. So that's how the cap goes on there. Feeds up into there. Next, we're going to do the GPS chip. All right, so I picked back up right here uh, for a reason. The 8 millimeter that they mentioned in the tool. So when you're putting these uh, little SMA connectors on, that's 8 millimeter. Uh, and what I usually do is I usually do about a quarter turn. About a quarter turn, snug it up. And then make sure that these grommets that they send with it get all the way down up against the, uh, the radio or the sector, whatever you're, you're working with there. Um, and you just pop this guy. Now it's all put away. These are already pre-assembled and tightened up. Let me go ahead and just put that cap on. It just goes down and then slides down to lock into place. All right, so all that we have left now um, is you take your little T10 and the top of the sector here, there's a little screw. Back that out. And then this little, this little uh, top of the sector will come right off. Um, now, there's a few points I want to make about this, uh, this little kit that comes with the bottom, for the bottom of the sector. So it comes, in mine at least, the little washer was in here. And so you take that out, that actually doesn't go in there. That goes with the screw to attach this to the bottom of the sector. And then this is your little plug that's going to plug where this cable comes out. So you take your little puck. And doo -doo -doo -doo, which I will say, uh, with the 3000, this is a lot better design. See, on the 2000s, you have to run along the outside there. So what we would typically do is we would just silicone it and hold it into place with silicone. So I don't know if I can get a good shot of this. So you'll see there's a little spot for the puck and then a little tube there. So you just feed this guy down that little channel like so. And I'm picking up my Leatherman with the magnet over here. All right, let's let gravity do some work. So it helps that this is straight, as straight as you can get it. So let's pull a little tension on it. And do, 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 do. Should be just about there. So just keep working it down. Like I said, it may take you a couple times to just straighten her out. And there she goes. Okay, so puck goes right there. Pull the slack down like so. And your plate, you'll notice, has a little keeper on it as well. So if you put your plate in on top, Snap her down, take your little T10. Oops. Now I'll just hand tighten her there. Get this guy laid back down. Snug that guy back up. Then you got your GPS right here. And this is going to come off. That's why my Leatherman's out, is these stupid little black things. There we go. So like I said, again, I just hand tighten, and then just give it, you know, eighth to a quarter turn, snug it up there. There you go. So on the bottom, never mind all the racket. So you're going to take this little red grommet, it goes around that guy like so. And it just pops down in there. Maybe if I can get her to stay. There we go. Okay. 
can use the other side to plug that hole if you're not using that. So if you're not putting the puck in. Get your washer. Depending on what neck of the woods you're from, washer on there. Probably would have been easier without the smart antenna on there. This is the only time you use your little Phillips. Maybe. So, anyway, we'll get that on there. Put your little Phillips in, and away you go. I'm not going to do it right now, because I'm going to take my smart antenna off to do it. So that's all there is to it. That's what's in the box. That's everything that it takes to assemble one. And uh, we'll get it up in the air and get a good look at it. One thing for your climber, uh, make your climber happy, keeping these brackets consistent. So if you have them loose to one side, keep them consistent. Consistency is key when you're up in the air and having to mess with a thousand different things. It's always nice to have um, some consistency. Other than that, it's a great looking, uh, great looking unit. There she is. Um, looks pretty sharp. It's got a two degree electrical down tilt in it, so make sure you keep that in mind. Um, and next we'll take a look at uh, getting it installed for you. So there you have it, the EPMP 3000 access point, brand new from Cambium, uh, 4x4 Moomimo, awesome unit. A um, couple quick other talking points. Uh, the, I know the video ran long, so I'm just going to stop there. We'll have a second video, a part two if you will, uh, for the drone video and the installation and all that. A uh, couple things for Cambium, um, as I said, I don't know if that's a ground location or not, something to, to follow up on. Um, also, the it'd be nice if you didn't have to have so many different tools put them together, but uh, it's going to be what it is. Uh, but also on the box that the access point came in, so there's no physical quick start guide. Instead, there's a QR code and a link on the back of the box. The QR co code did not work for us. Uh, the link also did not work for us, so the, the QR code and the link are broken. Um, so hopefully this video can be kind of a quick start for everybody out there that's trying to put one of these up new. Otherwise, Cambia may want to follow up on that and, uh, and check those things out. Um, thanks for stopping by. Again, apologies for a long video. This is more of a deep dive for you. Uh, but hopefully you enjoyed it. And like I said, look forward to that part two of the installation and drone footage coming up in the very near future. So uh, shout out to Sakid and Dimitri and everybody up there at Cambium on this team. And uh, what a great job on another uh, great access point. We look forward to taking a good look at it and how it does for our network. Until next time, like and subscribe as always, and thanks for stopping by.